Okay, I figured I'd say something about this topic here. Um, since the majority of the United States is in at-will employment, the majority of the states in the United States is considered at-will, okay, I figured we should talk about this a minute. You want to say how your court systems and your justice system is the best we've got right now and blah, blah, blah. And then you hear other people say how it's criminals, criminal cartel. And you hear this all the time, criminal courts, criminal government. Okay, well, let's examine this a minute. Okay, an at-will state. An at-will state gives an employee the right to quit their job anytime they want. But it also gives the employer the right to fire anybody for anything. Your eyes are blue and they don't like blue eyes, you're fired. You have no rights. You have no protection. That's what an at-will state gives them the right to do. They can fire you for anything. Anything, okay? Don't have to have a reason at all. They can just fire you to fire you. Just because they feel like firing you today. Okay, and you're not, you don't have no protections. At all. That's what an at-will state is, okay? When it comes to employment. Well, let's examine that a minute. If you're in an at-will state and they tell you, well, you ain't got no protection unless you're a government worker, which is post office, government, up in Congress, wherever, right? Or, or you have a contract. And now, if you're under a contract, you have protections, right? Let's examine what a contract is. Contract is a piece of paper with everything ruled up, stipulating what you're going to agree to, okay? So if you was to sign a contract with an employer, you would have everything typed up and put into a legit format on a piece of paper for a contract. Maybe there will be a time period on the contract that it runs out. Maybe there won't. Maybe there will be a time period yet to renew the contract. So on, so on, right? But in a contract, all the details have to be presented. Every last bit does, okay? Now let's think about your application the majority of all people that apply for work. 90% of the applications say nothing about at will and the ones that do, the majority of all the people don't even know what at will is. At will employment is. And they've never looked into it to find out what it is, okay? And when you fill out an application a job, everybody's going to tell you an application is not a contract. An application is not a contract. That's correct and not correct because there's manipulation in the system. That's right, manipulation, coercion, okay? Being lied to. Your application is not a contract until you're officially hired. Once you are officially hired for a job, your application becomes a contract. And then there's a problem with that. Here's the problem, okay, in an at-will environment, at-will state, okay? You filled out an application, which most people do to get a job, okay? And you sign the application because you know at the bottom of every application you ask for your signature, your John Henry, okay? Now, in an at-will state, the application is not a contract unless you get hired for the job and you accept the job. Now, you've put your John Henry on the application when you filled it out. If it don't say at-will state, nowhere on the application, that's not their problem. They hand you a handbook, company handbook, you know, company rules. And most of the time, you'll never see them unless you get hired. If it's in the handbook, well, you're too late. You've already signed the application, and it became a contract as soon as you were hired. That's right. Agreeing to working for a place that can fire you for anything. I mean anything. Or don't even have to have a reason. They just can fire you to fire you, okay? So you have no protection. And you can't get around it because you've already signed the contract. And you say, but no, I've signed the application, right? And the application wasn't a contract, right? Until you got hired, and then it became a contract. But your John Henry is already on it. And they don't have to present everything that's going to be in the contract to you. Where if you was doing a contract, everything has to be open in the front. Before you sign it, you have to agree to it. Okay? Total manipulation, coursing you or, you know, tricking you into putting your signature on a contract without knowing the details of the contract. <clears throat> so for the application to be legit, since it's a contract once you're hired 
and it's not a contract until that moment, okay? Then at the time that you're uh, filling out the application, I suppose that the handbook should be there or there should be a piece of paper attached to the application and say this is an at-will employment so that you can clearly see it's an at-will employment. And if you don't know what at-will is, and let's say they ain't got it in the handbook and they ain't got it on the application, then they need to provide the piece of paper with the call legislation, which they call in law in that state. That needs to be attached to the application or with the application for you to read. Then there's going to be another problem, okay? And that would be, have you ever tried to read legislation, law? Have you really? Has the average citizen ever tried to read that? The majority of people can't read it because of the way it's wrote, because it's wrote in legalese. Unless you went to law school to learn the new language called legalese, you wouldn't understand what they were talking about. Now, you want to talk about manipulation? You want to talk about corruption? That's what you're looking at. You're looking at complete corruption. Manipulation, lies, and corruption. Might as well be the mob. Might as well be the syndicate. That's right, because that's what you're looking at. And then, of course, they're going to tell you that ignorance of the law isn't their problem. Well, let's examine that one. Let's examine that one really close. Ignorance of the law isn't their problem because you are presumed to know the laws. How many people out here know all the laws? Come on, how many of you know? How many people can go down and pull up the laws and read that legislation that's wrote in legalese without hiring an attorney to, to interpret it for you? See, you wasn't taught the laws when you went to school. Oh, yeah, you was taught to not steal, kill, the common sense ones. But since there's thousands and thousands of laws, you was never taught them. And then if you break one, they're going to tell you that ignorance of the law isn't their problem. You should have known. No, you shouldn't have known. If you was never taught it from the time you was a child, you would know it. For one. For two... If it's going to be wrote in a tongue that you can't understand without going to school and learn that tongue, a different language called legalese, which all laws are wrote in, you've been coerced one more time. Because now you're not able to read what the law says to know what the law means. Which means you cannot be held accountable to that law. So when they're arresting you for something that you was a law-abiding citizen, for example, and you broke a law without knowing you broke a law, and if you knew it was a law, you would have never have done it to, to break that law because you was a law-abiding citizen. And then they're going to use their cop-out, their criminal cop-out to tell you ignorance of the law isn't their problem. Yes, it is their problem. Because you've been coerced, you've been manipulated, you've been lied to by them. Because you was not only taught, not taught it, what the law was. It was also wrote in a foreign language you'd never understand without going to school to learn what legalese is. So you'd have to go to law school. How many people just in the United States alone, that's not a lawyer, that's not a judge. Let's say you're a construction worker. Let's say you work in a manufacturing factory. Let's say you work at McDonald's. Do you follow my drift? have went to law school to learn and understand what legalese is so that you can read the laws. How many of you educated yourself to the laws? I'll guarantee you the biggest number have not. That's a criminal cartel. The entire court system and justice system are criminals. They're criminals all the way straight across the board. Because you're telling people that they have to be accountable to the law and Breaking the law is not your pro their problem. The ignorance of the law isn't their problem. You was never taught a law. And if you wasn't taught a law, told something is a law, you can't be held accountable to uphold what you don't know about. End of story. Okay? You cannot be made accountable to uphold something you was not taught. At the same time, if it's wrote in a different tongue called legalese, which all laws are, even if you went and looked up the laws so that you could be accountable, 
so you could understand and know the laws, you know, because they told you ignorance of the law isn't their problem. In other words, you're supposed to educate yourself to the laws. But if you go to educate yourself to the laws and you go reading it, you can't understand what the hell's being said because it's wrote in legalese, and you'd have to go to school to learn how to read legalese. That's called manipulation. That's right, that's called manipulation. That's called keeping you from knowing what the law is or the truth is. Just like your application on a job. You filled out an application and everybody told you that application is not a contract. It's not a contract. It's not a contract. Until they hired you. Once you was hired, it became a contract. Now it's an official binding contract because you was hired. The problem is, is on a contract, a real contract, all the details have to be presented to you and understood. And if you don't understand them, you don't sign to it. So the piece of advice that I would give to people, since we have coercion, manipulation, and lies, and trickery going on from a criminal court system, criminals up in higher positions. So don't tell me government's ain't criminal because there's criminal right in your face. Everything I just said is criminal behavior right in your face. <coughs> and since that application becomes a contract, this is what you need to do. Go ahead and fill it out. Put your name, your address, put your work history, everything that's needed. Except for at the bottom of the application, when it asks for your signature, you do not sign it. Never sign that application. Until you know all the stipulations. Because if you're hired, it becomes a contract. And if you sign it and then you accept the job, you're now under a contract. And anything within that contract applies to you. Which means if they want to fire you because you wore a pair of blue jeans to work today, they want to fire you because your eyes are brown or blue, they want to fire you because you got a little gray hair on your head, that's right. They have the right to do it. You know why? Because you signed the contract agreeing and willing to be an at-will worker without knowing you was an at what well, at-will worker was, without knowing that you were signing away your rights, enslaving yourself. It's called manipulation, people. It's called being coerced, fooled, manipulated, lied to by the employers and by the justice system. Because when they say the law says an ignorance of the law is not our problem to you, it is to their problem. Because common sense says if you're not taught a law, told about a law, and you're not a lawyer, and you're working at McDonald's, you're in construction, you're in a manufacturer, you're auto mechanic, whatever. If you're not told about the law, you know nothing about the law, it's not your job, it's their job to inform you of the law before you can be accountable to it. And it's your job to agree to it. And even if you don't agree to it, you still have to be informed of it before you can be held responsible for it. That's right. And if it's wrote in legalese, you would never be informed of what the law is, would you? Because they don't want you knowing the law. Because they want to coerce you, fool you, trick you into breaking a law and then tell you it's your fault. That's right. Or they want to trick you with your application. And they want to tell you the application is not a contract. It's not a contract, an application for employment. Not telling you the minute you're hired it becomes a contract. And that you've already signed that contract. Don't sign your application until you know what's in your face. It's as simple as that.